And welcome to Fox News Sunday Panel Plus with Britt Hume, Mara Eliason, Paul Jago, and Juan Williams, where we've been talking about uh, the criticism of the president, whether this president is particularly thin-skinned or not. Uh, there was an interesting development this week when former President Carter said that uh, he believed that much, perhaps most of the criticism of this president, and certainly the shouting at him by Representative Wilson, was based on race. Do you believe that? Barack Obama had a has had, President Obama's had here, a, a moment, an opportunity. The repudiation that he has done of this, as Paul described it, is quite mild. He has really not slammed the door on this, and he has really not sent a signal that says, I'll have no part of this. Uh, if he did, and if he said, look, this is not about race, this is about honest policy differences, and shouted it from the rooftops, um, that, I think, would be uh, in keeping with the person he, project, he projected to us during the campaign, which was a post-racial uh, man. Um, he hasn't done that. And I think that, he, that that leaves the door open to the toxicity that is likely to creep into the debate from here forward. And I think it's very damaging to the administration. The people who are honestly opposing Barack Obama, and there are lots of them, do not like the idea that they are being accused of being a racist. It's a terrible thing to say about a person in contemporary America. And, and, and do you think that he is intentionally left the door open? I mean, uh, I, think, I think he has not done all he could to shut this down. But and if uh, he intentionally? Did, no. Well, you know, I can't read no, my I, mind, Chris. No, I understand. But, but I mean, do, I mean, I just think that, that, you know, in some way he may, look, he's trying to, this comes at a moment when he's trying to rally his base. Um, a lot of the American left believe that America is a profoundly racist country to the core of its existence. And and this may help to rally the base. I hope that's not what the president's um, actions and mild you action. The, how come you don't see the right wing uh, speaking to its base and saying, you know what, birther movement, this man is born in, in, in the United States and why in all documents prove it. Communist? How can you say that the president of the United States is a socialist or a communist? How ridiculous. A Muslim? The guy was in Jeremiah Wright's church forever. Stop that kind of disrespect, for at least for the office, if not for the man. This kind of disrespect you're talking about exists on f so far out on the fringe that if it weren't for the obsession with it in certain organs of the media, we wouldn't even know about it. I mean, this, this stuff is out there where the buses don't run, Juan. Well, and Joe Wilson's is, not there is out there. Joe Wilson's place, in but you're the you're not, you're not, Listen, this, we're talking about what members of Congress and former presidents said here. You're talking about what sign carriers on the periphery of rallies are saying. There's no comparison. Joe Wilson, member of Congress. That's right. Thank you, folks, uh, and that's the joy of Panel Plus. You get to argue about it, and please post on our website and tell us what you think about this debate. Thank you, panel, and we'll see you next time.